from noble princes, noble men from the Benin Kingdom. And um, each and every one of us, you know, take pride in our history. And that is what uh, makes us a very great community. Thanks for clicking on this channel. Please subscribe to Afo's blog history and click on the notification button so that whenever we upload a new video you will be notified. The Obi of Isilioku is a descendant of the Great Benin Kingdom and remains loyal to the Oba of Benin. The Isi and Lioku Kingdom which was later translated to Isilioku by the British for easy pronunciation. Historically, it was an outpost founded by Oba Elwika I of Benin in about 1230 AD for the Benin Empire. Oba Elwika I intended to achieve three basic objectives with the founding of Isilioku. First, to checkmate the massive migration of Iri descendants from the modern southeastern region. Secondly, the foundation of large farmland to cater for the people of Benin. And, thirdly, a war camp that would defensively provide security for the Benin Empire against perceived external aggression. There was no doubt that Oba Elwika the first sensed the wave of migrations among the Iri and Isu and Ingala people, and was determinedly eager to stop the influx already taking place. The third reason articulated here for the establishment of Isilioku well presents a tradition common among the Obas of the Benin Kingdom. Eko, Lagos, is a typical example of what is meant here. Isilioku serves the same purpose like Eko, Lagos, to the Oba of Benin. The foundation of Eko, Lagos, at the time of Oba or Hagbua of Benin in 1550 AD, was followed by the way Isilioku was founded, perhaps with similar reasons. Soon after its foundation, Oba Elwika the first crown prince Huadia, his second son Ezoki, king of the newly founded Isi and Liukua post in the same year, the kingdom was established. For easy administration and perhaps the safety of his son, Oba Elwika the first sent groups of warriors, royal princes, administrators, chiefs, local geographers, and slaves to accompany his son. The Benin royal family group settled in the Hikban area of Isilioku. Also worthy of mention is that subsequent monarchs who ruled Isi and Lioku for many centuries traditionally bore the Oki title traceable to Prince Huadia, the Oki of Isi and Lioku until the era that Obi as a title for traditional rulers within the region became very prominent. The influence of people from the eastern region may have led to the importation of the word Obi into the lexicon of socio-traditional organization of the community. There is no doubt that the incursion of migrants from the eastern region is believed to be the reason behind the change in the title of the traditional leadership of the community. It is also a system that has endured, making Isilioku royal family one of the oldest in the Anioma nation. The relationship between future Obis and the Oba of Benin continued in later centuries with the Oba of Benin approving and crowning future Obis of the community until Isilioku became reasonably independent of the Benin Empire, a situation that ensured that the Oba merely delegated his high chiefs to represent him as against the physical appearance he put up in the past. The Obi of Isi and Lioko Kingdom on receiving his symbol of office such as paraphernalia from any existing Oba of Benin performed such functions in the Isilioko community as the Oba would generally have. In fact, the Obi of Isi and Lioku was traditionally seen as a true representative of the Oba of Benin in Isi and Lioku. Isilioku was considered as an extension of Benin to the eastern region. Let's hear from the people and Obi of Isilioku. Isi Ile Uku Iseluku Kingdom was founded by the Benins in about 1230 AD by Oba Eweka I of the Benin Empire and first Ogi of the kingdom was Prince Owadie who was the second son of Oba Eweka I. The original name of the new kingdom carved out of Benin Empire Isi Ile Uku signifies relationship with the Benins and Oba of Benin City, Uku Apolo Polo Omonoba Edo. When Oba Eweka I created the new Benin outpost of Iseluku, now pronounced Isele Uku, his main objectives was to check and stop the influx of movement of people from east of River Niger and people from Igala land into the Edo land west of the river Niger for farming and fishing operations. Also to use Isi Ileuku, the new outpost and kingdom, as a defensive outpost to the Bidin Empire and moreover, 
for expansion purposes. The kings of Isi Ileuku, Isaluku, are the true representatives of the above Benin in the area lying to the west of the river Niger and as such the Obi king of Iseluku has a position of authority as the Obi's authentic representative in the eastern extremities of the Great Benin Empire. I am His Royal Majesty Abogiri Obi Unduka, the traditional ruler of Iseluku kingdom. I was born at a local hospital not too far from here named um, St. Teresa Hospital and um, early in life uh, I had to leave home as a result of our culture and tradition and um, firstly I had to go to Lagos although very briefly before I moved to Benin City. That was where I had my formative years attended my primary school and um, my secondary school before moving to Ibadan where I studied at the University of Ibadan Industrial and Production Engineering. Now before I had to prepare for my coronation after my graduation. <laughs> We are descendants and um, from noble princes, noble men from the Benin Kingdom, and um, each and every one of us, you know, take pride in our history, and that is what uh, makes us a very great community. And um, over the years, for over 830 years, we have been able to preserve our culture, our rich history, our ancestry, and. Um, it is what we delight in and um, all around the country this is what we are known for and um, that's what makes us great. Well, in terms of um, governing, um, our people, I said it earlier, we pride ourselves in our culture so there is respect not for me first of all as a person but for the history and the stool I occupy. You know that is where the respect comes from, then people get to respect me for who I am, um, the things I have done. So in that regard, I have no problem. You know, my people adore me. I can't um, deny that and I'm grateful that they do. So they respect the institution, first of all, before the person and which is the right thing to do. Then regarding chieftaincy title, um, probably I forgot to mention that. It is what also makes uh, this community a unique community. Our local administration is the best you can um, find um, anywhere else. And um, it is as well similar to that of the Benin Kingdom. So when it comes to local administration, every quarter, every village you know, that makes up Iseluku has a chieftaincy title or two. Or probably more that um, is peculiar to, to them so what we do is we, we we try to encourage the families or the I'll call them clans or the particular village you know that this chieftaincy titles reside you know to give us credible people to step forward and take up the title because um, to also assist us in the administration of um, the community and um, I as a traditional ruler I have my privilege and um, I can decide to give any deserving son or daughter based on his or her contribution you know to the development of um, our community or his um, contributions towards the welfare of the palace as I please so I have that right as well but I prefer we are able to occupy the more traditional um, chieftaincy tools before I go ahead to give um, the more honorary titles. Mm. 
Omama Bane do Ukwa Polo Polo or Baiwari the Second said Benin Kingdom and Isiluku have historical affinity, stressing that the palace will do its best to keep the relationship while assuring the UB of the palace's practical and spiritual support to his reign. Obai Eware the Second promised to extend some of the benefits accruing to Benin Kingdom to Isiluku. The Benin monarch expressed gratitude to all those who supported the UB to ascend to the throne of his forefathers, especially his uncle who stood for him as regent. You wanted to follow your father's footsteps, your ancestors' footsteps uh, by coming to the palace here for two to uh, I said to myself that, well, I thank my God and my ancestors, this is already an indication that my father told me well. He was able to teach you as well. Thank all the other members of the royal in his address, the UB of Iseluku, His Royal Highness Ubi Induka, said he and his people were in the palace to pay homage to the Benin monarch and also thank him for his support before, during, and after his coronation. The UB said the people of Iseluku migrated from Benin, pointing out that it was good to be back home and promised to maintain the cordial relationship existing between Benin Kingdom and Iseluku. Also, very important to pledge our loyalty to you 